I think I'm in love with rigid bodies. <laughs> I'm... In the last video, I think I made some mistakes. Well, I think I, I know I made some mistakes, mostly because I got a lot of feedback. And now I want to take the red pill and actually make a 2D character controller with the use of rigid body 2D. Updating the last video's project and actually trying to make the best 2D character controller for a 2D platformer. Or I hope so. Hmm. You can download the source code for your next 2D platformer project as well as the full, full project if you want to use the assets. Go ahead, it is free. It's free real estate. Let's begin. The way we set our character is by first adding the rigid body 2D component as well as the 2D collider for the character full body and another 2D collider that will serve us for the on-ground check. Also make sure that all your floor environment is inside a new layer, in this case the layer I created is floor and we need this layer because we need to filter the collisions of our character and this will help us to filter the ground. Once that's set inside our character movement code, we'll have the next variables. For the movement, we'll have one public float for the movement speed with the default value as 12, one private float for the horizontal movement where we will get the horizontal axis and another private variable that will be our rigid body 2D. For the jumping, we will need a float for the jump force with the default value as 20 and a private boolean named just jumped to handle the jumping action with the default value as false. To check that the character is on the ground, we'll need a public boolean on ground with the default value as false. Another variable will be a public collider 2D for the floor collider and a public 2D contact filter to filter the floor inside the checker. Now, let's set the rigid body variable inside the star function as rigid body equals get component by type rigid body 2D. And inside the update function, we will get the input axis inside the horizontal movement as horizontal movement equals input dot get axis raw and the axis will be horizontal. We want the raw axis to avoid any smoothing of the movement. But if you want your movement to be smooth, go ahead and take out the raw of the function. Inside the fix update, we will handle everything related to the physics. So inside here, we will put the movement as rigidbody.velocity equals new vector2 with the horizontal movement multiplied by the movement speed and the y value will be the y dot velocity, as it is. My character movement variables are set like this. Now we have movement, so make sure to check and try different values until you are happy. For example, for me, inside the rigid body I set the mass as 1.1 and the gravity scale as 4. Now for the jumping, we need first to check that we are on the ground. So inside the update method, let's go and set the on ground boolean equals the floor collider dot is touching and the filter will be the floor filter we created. Later, let's create an if statement that tells that if the just jump boolean is false, and the input of the spacebar is getting press and also we are on the ground then just jump will be true and now let's go to our fix update and we will have an if statement that if just jump is true then just jump equals false and rigidbody.addForce in the vector2.up multiplied by the jump force and the type of force mode will be force mode 2d.impulse. Now everything is almost set and ready but 
make sure that inside your rigid body you constrain the C rotation to avoid any unwanted rotation. And as you can see, we get stuck on the wall if we keep moving on the horizontal axis. And that's mostly because our character has a bit of friction. And the solution for that is mainly based on Tudvari's tutorial on how to handle this. And the way we solve this is by creating a 2D physics material and the value for the friction should be zero. And put it inside the rigid body 2D of the character. And now, if you try it out, you will stop getting stuck on the wall. Most changes are thanks for the feedback in the last video. As I told you before, I am grateful for that, I am trying to improve myself every day and I am trying to redeem myself with this video and I hope I did. I hope you all have learned from my happy accidents, so see you in the next video. I made videos every other week, so if you want to, to see more about game dev and tutorials, and things. See you in the next video. God bless. I love you all with all my heart. Happy game death.